guys welcome back to my channel so I'm going to do a voiceover intro because the intro that I filmed was terribly crooked so yeah but I just want to update you guys on where I've been the holidays were pretty crazy for me um, so now that it's kind of slowed down a bit I'm just kind of filling orders that come in and working on new products and just doing things for my shop that really need to be done like little things here and there um, I'm really excited to be releasing some new bath and body products so I will be working on that but in this vlog I kind of wanted to show you um, an order that I'm filling for a store client she has a floral shop and she was interested in putting my candles in her shop so I am going to get that order filled as well as a uh, like make a display she wanted a display and I was really intimidate intimidated about that because I've never done that before for a shop owner so um, she ended up really liking it it's just like a bar cart um, display and when I was filming this video I had actually had issues getting the bar cart that I needed and I ended up having to buy it twice because the first one took like eight days to get to me and um, as I was filming it, I still had no bar cart after I purchased it two times, once from Hay Needle and once from Amazon. Uh, so yeah, but I also am going to show you how I created like a nice chalkboard display for her. But yeah, this uh, studio vlog is just going to have a whole bunch of things that I've been working on this week so let's get into it so I hope you can see I'm gonna start with my newest candle here this is my Queen of Hearts candle I got a couple of orders for these and um, the florist specifically wanted something Valentine's Day to kick off her um, grand opening so yeah so I made some of those I kind of flopped and I wish I would have ordered more fragrance oil um because once everything's said and done i think i'll have like one of these left so should have ordered more fragrance oil i'm gonna cut everything else i had one order for this popcorn candle um yeah it just smells like popcorn and you can see the embeds on top are little popcorn so and all of these white candles that you see are not the same fragrance. Um, these, my container candles are all white. And before I used to dye them. But I figured I'm going to do them all white. Because since these candles are so labor intensive. Um, I feel like it balances out with doing just a white container candle. So I don't have to worry about colors and all of that. So this is Garden Mint. Apple Harvest, I believe this is Blood Orange, um, this one is Caramel Popcorn, Lavender and Peppermint Eucalyptus, which is going to, all of the white candles are going to the floral shop. So now everything is um, prepped and I can start filling orders. <laughs> You guys, look what came as I was cutting stickers for my candles. The bar cart showed up. I'm so relieved. So now I actually have a bar cart to put together. Maybe um, I'll have time to show you that. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Alright you guys, so the orders are packed and I'm going to head over to the post office now 
because my son has waken up from his nap so pretty much during his nap all I got done was orders and I just posted to Instagram so a lot of the other things I have to do are going to be pushed into the night which is um, assembling the bar cart that finally came and then uh, finishing my sign for the display but yeah so now I got to do some mom things with my son all right so what you guys are seeing me do now is preparing like the text that I'm going to use on the chalkboard so I am not an artist and I definitely cannot do freehand calligraphy I tried for a minute it did not work out too well so what I do is I get the text and this is um, the October Twilight text that I use on all of my candle labels and I am just in the pages application on my Mac and just making the text large enough so that I can trace it on to my chalkboard and then I'm going to just print that out and it's going to take me two pages to do that so once I print it out this is how that is going to look and I'll just kind of overlap um, the text so that it fits together if you know what I mean and then I'm going to cut it out and tape it together so it is um, easier to work with on the chalkboard now that I have got it cut out um, I'm going to just show you the tape I just use packaging tape to um, tape it together and I did not tape over the actual text because that's going to mess up your tracing so now I'm just going to position it how I like it and I will show you what I do next so to weigh it down I just got some little things from the pantry um, just so I can weigh that down and once I've got my positioning I'm going to take a piece of chalk any kind of um, sidewalk chalk whatever chalk you have lying around and I'm going to um, turn the chalk on its side and then just rub it on the back of the paper and this is going to help with our tracing you don't want to put on too much chalk because then it's going to be hard to see your lines um, once you're done tracing so just a thin layer of chalk on the back of your paper and then once you've done that reposition your um, little text again uh, on the chalkboard and I'm going to take a pen and with the pen you are going to start sketching out um, and tracing the letters and you kind of want to be firm with this um, when I was done tracing my hand kind of hurt from the pressure but you really want to transfer that chalk that's on the back of your paper onto your chalkboard and and I will show you what I mean when I lift up this paper so when you lift up the paper you should see an outline of the text so that's what I mean when you don't want to lay on too much chalk so I went ahead and I did the first line of text off camera just so I could perfect what I was doing before I showed you guys and now I'm going to repeat the same step with my second layer um, my second layer of text so I'm just placing that down and I'll be tracing that out the same way okay so when you lift up your paper this is how it's going to look it's gonna look like a mess seriously but once your eyes kind of catch the outline it gets easier um, as you go to kind of see but you definitely cannot see what I'm doing um, in the video you can't see the tracing or anything but I will kind of show you how I fill everything in and my advice is to get a finer tip chalk marker I kind of got a thick marker without looking or paying attention it would be much easier to do this with a finer marker um, 
and definitely do a chalk marker don't do it with just regular chalk because then it won't look as professional <laughs> So just to clean it up a bit, I'm going to take the same pen that I traced in and I'm going to kind of scratch out the chalk that is um, uh, kind of got messed up and make everything look more defined. I would suggest not using water, like I try to use water in a q-tip but that just kind of smeared things around. And then I'm going to take a rag and uh, wipe off all the excess. So this is how it came out looking. I got a little easel um, from Michaels and I set that on the bottom of the bar cart. And then I have all of my candles are going to be sitting on top of the bar cart so the customers can grab everything super easy. But that is going to be the end of my studio vlog. Make sure to follow me on my social media because you will be seeing Bath & Body products from me soon. So stay tuned because I am excited to show you guys all of that. Alright, bye y'all.